Hello, I'm Alita, your writing coach at Word Essential. In today's 60 second writing tip, we're going to talk about crescendos. You want to make sure your chapters end with a high point. This will either be a peak in the action that sets your hook or an emotional high that resonates with the reader after the movement ends. Now, action and dramatic tension, both positive and negative, need to crescendo with each chapter. Often, writers write past the climactic moment, the peak of the crescendo, and bury their hook or their end note. This occurs because writers have an unconscious urge to finish a movement and carry on to next things. First, we'll look at a scene that needs a hook, an action-driven scene. Say you've written your character into a scenario in which some creepy thugs chase him into a dark alley. He's got his back against a tall fence, wondering how he's going to escape. The thugs come around the corner, spot him at the back of the alley, and start running for him. He grabs the fence and scrambles up and over it, dropping to the other side. Now the thugs have trouble climbing the fence, giving our hero the precious seconds he needs to flee. Once safe, he catches his breath and plans what to do next. Where in that scene is the climactic moment, the moment of greatest dramatic tension? It's here. The thugs come around the corner, spot him at the back of the alley, and start running for him. So this is where you insert the chapter break with the hero caught between a fence and the thugs who mean him harm. What reader won't turn the page to find out if he escapes? In order to end on a climactic moment and set your hook, you need to cut the movement into two parts. Your crescendo, there's your chapter break, and then your day crescendo. The crescendo is all about rising action. The day crescendo is all about resolving that action. When writers fail to work their climax and hook is when they follow through, completing the movement. Scene and chapter breaks typically occur before a movement is complete, that is, before it's resolved. This movement is complete when our hero has safely escaped the thugs, but that's not the most exciting moment. It's not the peak. So go ahead and write your movement out in full. See it resolved. But then insert your chapter break between the peak and the resolution, or between the crescendo and the day crescendo. Note that not every movement should be broken at the climactic peak. Most should, but not all. Let's look at a scene that ends with an emotional end note. So an example that's not action-driven and illustrates some other possibilities. Say you're writing a romance. Our hero has finally found the courage to propose to the love of her life. You've built up the moment, creating all sorts of excitement around the execution of this proposal. She needs the perfect romantic evening. She's got to figure out the gender role reversal. Should she kneel? What should she do about a ring? Will he mind that she's proposing? Your reader is now as excited as your hero. The obvious peak is going to be right after she pops the question, but before her lover answers. Depending on how you want to play out the scene, you might place the break before she proposes. Maybe she gets nervous and has second thoughts. She might excuse herself to go to the bathroom and rehearse her proposal looking at the ring she bought and wondering if he'll really wear it. You could break there. The hook? Will she go through with her proposal? You might break right at the peak. She proposes and her lover seems to hesitate. Break there. The hook? Did she do it wrong? Will he say no? Or you might finish the movement. She proposes, he accepts, they embrace joyously. Break there. This finishes the movement but the reader should be feeling the character's euphoria and turn the page just to continue riding that emotional high. Note that even when you finish the movement, you need to end on that high. In other words, only crescendo. Do not day crescendo before your break. 
Do not go from the joyous embrace to the hero calling her mother to share the good news. That shifts the character and the reader out of the final moment, the emotional high that you want to resonate long after the chapter's final period. Okay, let's put this into your 60 second writing tip. Make sure every chapter you write crescendos, never day crescendo at the end of your chapter. Action scenes will seldom finish the movement. They break at the peak of action before the action is resolved, thereby setting the hook. Character or emotion-driven scenes can end right before, at, or just after that climactic moment. They might even finish the movement resolving the moment. Just make sure that you end with that emotional high note that you want to resonate with the reader. Do not decrescendo. If they finish the movement, end them there, ensuring the reader continues to resonate with the emotion you've created do not down their high by moving on to the next thing. Go right to your chapter break. Okay, that is it for this week's Word Essential 60 Second Writing Tip. Thank you so much for watching. Find all my tips at wordessential.com blog and my courses at storyworksfiction.com. Have a great writing day.